Super Coders! We're going to continue on from our talk during the last video. In order to round the result, we're going to use something called the decimal format. You can make one by typing this, where format is a special string made up of zeros, decimal points, and hash symbols. Zeros in the string will each be replaced by one digit. Hash symbols can be replaced by multiple digits. Decimal points do what you would expect. They mark where the decimal places are. This format string should only have one decimal point. As an example, if you typed hash 00.00 hash, your result would have at least two digits before and after the decimal point. But it could have as many as are needed. If you formatted the number 3 using this string, it would look like this. <laughs> the format string we're going to use is hash 0, 0.00. This ensures the result is rounded to two decimal places, but all numbers before the decimal point are shown. We could have also used hash dot zero zero, but in that case, a single zero before a decimal point will get removed. For instance, if we formatted the number 0 0.25 this way, it would be printed as 0.25. Now, to actually format the result, your, if your result is stored in a variable called result, you can format it properly by typing this. That's all it takes to format the output. There are definitely a couple of other changes we can make. For instance, you probably will want to add a try catch block to stop the app from crashing when the edit text is empty and the user clicks a radio button. Another thing we could do is use an on text change listener to automatically change the result as soon as the user modifies the edit text object. Try your hands at these challenges. When you're ready, take a look at our finished Java file to see how you did. That's it for this lesson. Bye, Bye Supercoders! Super